What's up ladies and gentlemen, today I want to go ahead and give you guys a tour of the operating system of Android Wear 5.0. This is basically their lollipop but for Android Wear. And if you guys take a look, when you first open up your watch, just like you would expect, you get yourself your awesome time along with your date and you can even have the weather on here depending on what watch face you have. To change watch faces, simply hold down on the screen and it will go between watch faces. I actually found myself using the Facer application to go ahead and download more watch faces. And this one's actually really cool, probably from some random developer out there who decided to make it and post it on Facer, but it looks really awesome on the watch. So if you just simply tap once on your watch face, it will bring you to Google now. You can go ahead and launch an application from there, check your steps, or simply ask Google a question. To go back, it's actually kind of a pain, but you can go ahead and simply swipe back. I know you want to go ahead and swipe down like that. That's what I attempted to do for the first like week and a half that I had this. And uh, it didn't work out every time I kept wanting to do this, since that's how Google uh, now kind of works. You simply swipe up to go back. Instead, you swipe back and just like that, you're on your watch face. If you go ahead and swipe upward, just like that, you actually see all your notifications, and this is a kick notification, here's a Twitter notification, um, right here I even have myself a Snapchat notification. The background for the application itself will come on Google Now, and it looks really cool. Now you're wondering, how will I do anything with these? Well, here on Twitter, I can open it on my phone, or I can block the application from sending me any more notifications. Over here I can do the same, open it on my phone, and depending on what application you have, there should be more settings as you swipe to the left, sorry about that. So a lot of you guys may not know this, but you can actually have launchers on Android Wear as well, just like you would on your Android device, and I actually have a launcher to help me access my applications easier, I really hate that it keeps turning off on me, come on. Alright, so what you would normally have to do is say, ok Google, and afterwards, oh, well, there you go. It, you would have to scroll all the way down here and start an application, but no one likes doing that. So instead, simply have this launcher right here. I believe it's called like Wear Launcher or something along those lines. And you get all your applications. I have a lot of applications on here, I will admit that. But you guys may have five or six, but still, accessing these is a lot easier. You can actually go ahead and swipe back and get out of your app tray. That's what we're going to call it instead of a launcher. Swiping down, this is something that's default with Android Wear 5.0. Basically, this allows you to access your supposed notification center. Why isn't it a notification center? Well, first of all, your notifications aren't displayed up here. So I guess we'll simply call it the toggle center. And even then, you can't access this from every single application, something they should fix. I really don't like that. You can only go ahead, uh, you can come back to the watch screen almost a lock screen, yeah, you can come back to the watch screen and then you can access this. So afterwards you can go ahead and mute your device which is really useful. There's also theater mode and so when you raise your watch to your face it automatically turns on, right? Well with theater mode that won't happen anymore and it makes sense since you don't want your watch light turning on every 2 or 3 seconds when you shift around inside of a movie theater. Sunlight mode makes it really bright but for a little bit. Sorry if the focus looks a little odd, um, this is a watch and I'm not used to filming watches, let's put it that way. So right here of course is sunlight mode and as I said it makes it a little bit brighter but then it does turn the brightness down so it does not destroy the battery completely. Uh, here is of course your settings, I guess we should jump into settings. So of course right here it says Bluetooth devices and you're like, wait a minute, Bluetooth devices? How does that make any sense? Well, with, this thing can actually connect to your phone and simultaneously connect to another Bluetooth device. For example, a Bluetooth speaker or better yet, your headphones. So that is a pretty useful feature. It's like multi-Bluetooth um, courtesy of our Bluetooth 4.0. Ambient screen is something that is going to demolish your battery, it's kind of hard to explain on the Moto 360, but basically it keeps it on for a little bit longer and puts the watch face in a sort of on and yet sort of off mode, I'll show you that in a second. Airplane mode is self explanatory, power off, restart, reset, all of those are self explanatory. Here's another way you can change your watch face in case you're a newbie and want to do it in the settings instead of holding it down. Accessibility, is, there's only one option in there. About, this is where you get all your software updates and then there's developer options. As much as I love getting notifications on here, my favorite feature is all these watch faces that you can find on the Google Play Store and I love the fact that you can simply download it onto another application or just download it from the Google Play Store and have it automatically synced over here. There's so many to choose from. Um, my favorite, I'll show you my top two and I'll try to remember the names. This one right here is known as Circles. It looks really cool because it has that digital interface and if you want to look at your watch for just one second and not necessarily show it off to people and actually use it for the sake of using it, this watch face right here will probably help you out quite a bit. 
and then there is one more and this one this one you can find in the google play store it's actually free and it's known as illusion if you guys take a look it basically sets it to a different illusion every single time you go ahead and set it so if i uh, change it back to i'm not sure change it to maybe facer for a little bit and then go back to our illusion it should change it to a different illusion i'm not sure if it's gonna no, it didn't. Alright, well, there's about six or seven illusions that you can go inside of the app on your phone and change it to in case it doesn't do it like right now. And it looks cool. I know it's kind of hard to tell on a camera, but people will be like, oh, that's so awesome. So those are my top two at the moment, and I'll be sure to bring you guys new videos in case you guys already have an Android Wear device. Hope you guys enjoyed this tour of Android Wear 5.0. If so, feel free to leave a like and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for watching. This is going to be me, locking off. I know that it's a secret and that I gotta keep it But I want the lights on, yeah, I want the lights